Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanne and today I have a first impression review of the new Blend Bunny Mermaid Collection. Um, so this collection just launched on Thursday. Well, that was a soft launch. It officially launched on Friday which was two days ago, but I ordered it on Thursday during the soft launch and I actually received it yesterday, which was Saturday. Such fast shipping, like what? This brand like just amazes me with how they listen to their customers. And yeah, so this collection comes with the Lure palette and I'm filming this after I film this look, so it's a little used, but this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty, so up my alley, especially with the greens, blues, teals. Yeah. Hello. This retails, oh, I should have looked it up, but this retails for like 46 maybe? I don't know somewhere around there and then you have the trove multi-chrome quad which retails for i believe 68 for these four multi-chromes i don't know how and they're gorgeous like they're so pretty um, this is more expensive than that palette because multi-chromes are more expensive to make and I really like how the owner, um, made them separate. So you have the option of purchasing them if you want to and have the funds for it or you can just get the palette which also has a multi-chrome in it which is the shade Pearl right here. It's like a pinky greeny champagne-y I think so it's on my inner corners so if you're interested in how I got this eye look then just keep watching so I have the two palettes here um I just threw one of them but I haven't swatched anything I've opened them and looked at them but haven't swatched anything they're gorgeous so here's the lure palette like look at that so I don't know what I want to do I kind of want to do Ooh. I feel like these two columns together could be fun. The purple and the teal. I might try to do that. Hmm. I don't know if I just want to focus. I think I want to just focus on this palette for today. And then probably do like a, like a three looks video incorporating the multi-chrome quad so yeah let's just get into the look i will be priming with my milani eyeshadow primer sorry if i'm sniffling a lot love the cold weather Okay, I need, I need a mirror. So I normally go light to dark for my looks. Um, so I was thinking of just like mainly having like the teal and then just like a little bit of the purple picking through as the transition. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think that could be fun. So, oh yeah. Also, my eyeshadow brushes are very dirty. So I'm going to be using my Sigma Switch. I'm showing you the clean side because the other side is very dirty. Um, so yeah. I feel so awkward doing this because it's my first time ever doing anything like this. But this is, like I said in the introduction, a first impression of the palette. But I do have, hold on, let me, but I do have other palettes by them. I'm going to go in with this Sigma E35 Tapered Blending Brush. Just clean that off so I make sure there's no product on it. And then I'm going to go in with Jellyfish right there. But like I said, I have tried their formula before. And um, I have the Blends palette. The Surge palette. Oh, wow. That is pigmented. Do you see that? Um, and I have the Dollhouse palette. And I love all of my palettes by them. They're just so pretty. And this color story really spoke to me. And I'm just blending that out. And that blends out so nicely. Sorry if I'm not really looking at the camera. That is so pretty. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my Refer 15. And I think I'm going to go in with... Sea nymph, right there. It's that bright teal, and I always tap off my eyeshadow because I don't like fallout because I always do my face first. That is very pigmented. I don't know if I like this. These are blending very nicely. I think I'm just gonna take a little bit more of jellyfish. So that light purple. Just to bring that back. And kind of bring it around. That was my stomach, if you heard that. It's actually really pretty. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go in with this Blend Bunny B4 brush and I'm going to go into hmm, 332 meters which is this deep teal right here wow I don't know if you can tell but there's a lot of pigment on there oh that is so pretty That is very pretty and very pigmented. I probably picked up a little too much. So I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used for Sea Nymph and just try to blend that out. These just these shadows just blend so nicely. watering a little very pretty I'm gonna go on with 
a little bit more of jellyfish. Very lightly around the edges. I just realized I haven't been doing my other eye. Um, I think I'm gonna try a different technique on my other eye using the same shades. But, um, so normally I go light to dark. I'm gonna try going dark to light to see how I like that. So I'm gonna go in with 332 meters on the B4. This is such a pretty shade. Oh my gosh. And I will say these aren't like, like super deep, but like, for me, they're a good depth. Okay. okay I kind of like that. And then I'm gonna go in with my rougher 15 into the shade Sea Nymph and blend that out. That is so nice. Like, look how easily that just blended out. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to take a little bit of jellyfish. You can see the powder. Just around the edges to bring in that purple. Yeah, I love Blend Bunny's formula. They're just oh, amazing. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of jellyfish. Um, and then the same brush that I used for Sea Nymph. Sorry, I was just covering you, but honestly, I kind of like this eye better. Going dark to light. I mean, this is very different for me for like what I normally do. I think I'm going to go in with a little more of 332 meters. And just build that up a little. So pretty. Just like, and then use the same brush that I had Sea Nymph on and blend that out. These shadows seriously blend out so effortlessly. It's um, insane. Okay. So now for the shimmer. So first I'm gonna put on some NYX glitter glue. I don't know which shimmer I wanna go in with or if I actually do wanna use the Trove palette because I think that would be a very fun. Like using Maybe using Dive Deep because it looks like it's like 
a teal with like green and like purple sparkles. I don't know. I think that one would be fun. Or mermaid tears, which looks blue to you and looks purple to me. So I think I'm gonna use mermaid tears actually. That'd be fun. Or mm, I think I am gonna go in with dive deep. I made my decision. Okay, so I'm gonna take my NYX glitter glue on this ABH double ended brush. Just ignore how that looks. I use it all the time for my glitter glue. I really need to wash my brushes. But so like I said, I have definitely used Blend Bunny before. The first time I tried them was last year in October. And then for their Black Friday sale, I picked up the Surge and Dollhouse palette. So my first palette was the Blends palette. And I love their formula. I haven't used Sorry, I have like an eye booger. But I haven't really used the Surge and Dollhouse palette all too much. So I'm still trying to get a feel for like their shimmers and yeah, but their mattes are so nice. My glitter glue is on. So I'm gonna, I normally use my fingers with my shimmers anyways. So I'm gonna go in with Dive Deep. Oh, these are so soft. You? Oh. My God, yep, okay. That is very pigmented <laughs> wow you barely need like anything to cover your eyes with this that is so pretty oh Oh my god. Gorgeous. And then I'm just going to take the same rougher brush I used before and kind of try to blend out the edges. That is so pretty. Wow. And I'm gonna take the B4 brush that I used before and blend out outer corner. Just cause I like to blend my matte into my shimmers. That is so pretty. It's like, wow. They're very creamy. But very pretty. I will definitely be doing another video with this palette. Most likely, I think like a three looks with both these palettes. Um, yeah. Okay, now I need to do my lower lash line, which I'm just gonna copy what I did on my upper lid. So I'm going to take the this B3 brush from Glam Bunny. And then I'm gonna take 332 meters. And apply that on like the outer corner of my lash line.
and then I'm going to take the B1 also from Blem Bunny and I'm going to take the shade I'm going to take the shade Blast at C and blend this out I think I need to go in on this eye a little more. I feel like that's just how this eye is though. Okay. Very pretty. And then I don't know. I think I'm gonna take hmm. I think I'm gonna take pearl on the inner corner using the Sigma E30 pencil brush. I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally so pretty. And even these shimmers are like very squishy. So it's kind of hard to pick up on my brush. I think I might have gotten a little too much there. Definitely a little too much. That is so pretty. Wow. That is so pretty. So I'm gonna go finish my, finish the rest of my makeup and I will come back to tell you everything I used and give you my final first impressions. I finished the rest of my makeup. So here's what I used before I go get into my first impressions of the Blend Bunny collection. So, for primer, I used this Touch and Soul No Pore Primer. I feel like I don't really need it. I also don't. S what is right there? A pimple, okay. So, I don't know if I need primer generally. So, trying to use this up um the foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear in the shade um 455 natural buff and I actually like this I will say concealer this foundation um it's a nice like natural finish very nice and then my concealer is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, which I think is also really nice. Like it's hydrating, doesn't look cakey, blends in really nicely. And I use this in the shade beige. And then my powders, I use two powders every time. So I have this Jeffree Star Translucent powder. I don't remember what it's called, but I've had this for a few years. I don't really support him anymore. 
yeah, we're just not going to get into it, but I like to use this up. I only have two powders and I use them at this simultaneously. And the other powder that I use is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Extra Blur in Translucent Honey. So this one I use to set my face. So there are the base products. The cheek products that I used. Um, I used the bronzer in my Tarte Stack and Peppermint Mocha. My blush, I used my Project Pan blush in Sleigh Bells from this Tarte Stack. And I'm not going to show it because, first of all, it's all crumbled. And spoilers. Um... Highlighter, I used my ABH Glow Kit in the shade Butterscotch. So it's not actually summer, it's Butterscotch. I just preferred this packaging, so. Um, brows, I used two brow pencils. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil and the ELF Brow Pencil, which is thicker. So I use the NYX on like the front of my brows and the tail and then to kind of outline the underneath part. And I use the e.l.f. to just like fill in the middle. Um, and then I also use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. Don't know if this does anything, but since I have it, I'm just going to use it. And it's so gross. Um, and then my mascara is the Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara, which I love. So good. Um, and then my lips, I have the Blend Bunny Tees lip combo. So the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. And that's the look. So now we're going into what this video is about. So my first impressions on the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Mermaid Collection. I mean, honestly, I feel like my camera doesn't do this justice. Like, looking in the- sorry if I'm like looking to the side, it's where like my mirror is. It's so pretty, like the shimmers are so sparkly and just- I mean, this is so pigmented. These are a win in my book. They're the classic Blend Bunny formula that I know. Well, the mattes, at least. They're so blendable and oh, so pigmented. This color story is just gorgeous. Like, I just love how she lays out all of her palettes, how you can just go column by column and it's just like a monochromatic look or you can just mix and match, which is kind of what I tried to do today with like that hint of purple, which honestly, I don't, I kind of like. And then the pearl shade on my inner corners just looks pink and I'm living for it. So. This retails for $46, 48 I think it's like 4 I don't remember. It's around there. And then this multi-chrome quad retails for, I think, 68 because multi-chromes are expensive to formulate. Especially like good multi chromes, and I, mean, I only used one of them, but it was so creamy and so pigmented on just like one swipe. Like, yeah, I would say these are a win. So, if you're interested in this color story, I recommend it. And this packaging is so pretty, it has glitters in it. And like you can feel the texture. I love textures. And this quad is just so cute. It's like perfect for traveling. If you want to bring like a few multi-chromes with you. But I will say if you have many multi-chromes. 
I would say probably see if you have anything that's similar to these because I don't think these are like super like special multi-chrome shades but I don't have them so I'm really glad I got this little quad but that's all I got for you for this video I know it's a long one <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you this first impression is helpful and again I will most likely have a like three palette three palettes a three look video with this collection sometime soon in a couple weeks probably but yeah so I hope you enjoyed I hope you have a great day or a great night or whatever time it is for you and I hope to see you in the next one bye